Tim Team Cup. Time for some additional Timmy Tam action. Today we've got Cielo Awe versus Ishir or Rishi or Mr. Rishi or Monsoir Rishi as they're known as. Uh, and this is a big match coming up here. Uh, my name's East. I'm going to be casting for you today. M Team Cup has a $225 prize pool as well as 310,000 pan suns. Uh, big thanks to Tylo for organizing and running the event. And this is a particularly important match mostly because of the implications for Group B where Ali is running away with the lead. However, uh, Cielo and Rishi are competing for spot number two. So, that means that the winner of this match, um, if Cielo is able to defeat Rishi or even take a game off of them, I believe that means that Cielo will be the second qualifier from the group. Yeah, as this is going to be Rishi's eighth game played, uh, Rishi will have one more game after this, and Cielo will have um, two to go. I believe both of them play against SM Vid, who unfortunately has not managed to secure any points. Let's move into the game here. As we see Rishi and Cielo. Cielo with a uh, synergy-based aggressive team this time. We see the uh, two digitals in Mimit with Salbion and Hermion, as well as lots of water synergy with Nature Koish, Mimit, and the Chromion as well. And then Kinu Yaller and their almost signature Volcrane at this point. Whereas Rishi going with a Naga Ragnet Kinu Yaller core, complemented by some melees uh, and some Toxics and a Volpi. It is going to be a Zalbion opener. Zalbion, very powerful in Deceit Aura uh, against Naga Ice. Uh, pretty good into. Uh, Naga Ragnet, if it can live the opening Electro Punch. But yeah, so Cielo puts themselves in, in the driver's seat and puts their fate in their own hands if they are able to take a win here. Whereas if they lose, they will likely have to score some points against Ali to avoid tiebreakers. Rishi has already played their set against Ali, and I believe only has their set against SM Vid left to play after this. So, very close. Cielo opting to go for Zalbion and Volcrane into the Naga Ragnet lead. Rishi following up with uh, Mushok and Yowler, and Yowler and Tolkien coming from. Cielo's side. So interesting with the stone ball, the very low priority stone ball going quite quickly into Cedora. That is going to be a challenge that Rishi's gonna have to overcome here as we get right into game one. Here we go. So Naga's Cedora is gonna take effect right away, reversing the speed tiers. This means that Ragnet's Electro Punch and Volcrane's Stone Ball are likely the two fastest moves that can come out here. Electro Punch can deal a lot of damage to Zalbion, but not very much to Volcrane. And Naga is not really having an out to deal much damage itself, as setting up in front of this Wastewater potentially coming from Zalbion is not going to be something they're super excited about. Ragnet does manage to go first with the Electro Punch. Albion's Lightning Rod lets it defend. Wastewater coming out. Reactive Vial from Naga healing it up. And Volcrane's Stone Ball, faster than both of those moves, connects onto Nagais. Nagais with the Beta Burst in response. Albion taking pretty good damage, so the burn ends up be making the difference there, saving the Zalbion. Nagais' Reactive Vial has triggered. He does have the Psy Surge to underspeed Volcrane in the next turn here. 
and potentially even Zabion as well. So the Tamers having to make some interesting, potentially difficult decisions here. Valkyrie's Stone Trench is now online. That's a strong move. It's going to give it evasion after connecting and can do some big damage to both Ragnet and Nagais. Both, Thames, both Tamers stay in. Electro Punch does do the damage into Zalbion. That'll take it out. And Valkyrie goes for the Stone Ball, so Nagais likely going for a Nagais' Fury there. Stone Ball putting Valkyrie in range where Stone Trench will trigger its Vigorous ability. Now it has the speed advantage on Ragnet, so... Valkyrie put into an interesting spot here. It's going to be Volfi from Rishi. This uh, sort of lightly checks uh, Stone Trench from Valkyrie as it'll only damage the Ragnet if used. However, a Vigorous... Uh, a vigorous um, stone ball or a stone trench coming out from Volcrane is going to deal a lot of damage. Volcrane not able to turn on its own attack with Hook yet. So it is not as powerful as Cielo might like, but they're going to take the trade of Ragnet for Zal sorry, of Nagais for Zalbian and hope that their Yowler can bring them the victory from there. Yowler swapping in for Rishi in the Volfi slot, actually. As Volcrane going for Ninja Jutsu. Connecting onto Ragnet. That's a vigorous Ninja Jutsu. Ragnet trying to get ahead of... No, it'll be Hypnosis onto Yowler instead of Volcrane. The Hypno likely calling out Cielo's item as being either Double Screen or Matcha. And Sleep doing some pretty good work against the bear. Yowler now looking at uh, a Volcrane here that is overexerted, likely going to need to swap out. Vulnerable to Yowler's incredible physical damage here. Volcrane will swap out. Chromion coming in. Wow, this Chromion, very vulnerable to Ragnet if that's what... Both Tems quite vulnerable to Ragnet swapping in. Is Ragnet going to stay does stay. Show off. Turns on the Yowler's attack. Ragnet just rests. Very interesting play here is um, Chromion and Tolkien coming in on Cielo's side. They're likely going to need to leave or risk getting uh, taking some serious damage from Charged Iron Filings. As the water moves from this Chromion, it could be Pigment Inverter. Um, fun fact, uh, you can tell whether or not Chromion is Pigment Inverter or Cinder Typer by um, watching it use an attack. There's no other way to tell. And even that attack has to trigger one of the two abilities. You can't tell just by looking at it, sadly. Let's see what happens here. It is going to be Tornado onto Yowler. It looks like Yellow is content to simply pump up the damage into the big bear, trying to wear it down. Charged Iron Filings doing some immense damage here. Down goes Chromion. And Yellow Savage Suplex will likely secure the KO onto Tolkien as well. So Cielo finds themselves down to their last two Thames as Ragnit. Doing some serious work this match, claiming KOs on Tolkien, on Zalbian, and beating that Chromion into the stratosphere with Charged Iron Filings. Tielo does have Stone Trench active once again. They have speed arrows, so if these Yowlers are the same speed, they can likely uh, outspeed and go for Savage Suplex Stone Trench onto the Yowler. That probably is enough to pick up a KO, though. With Yowler, you can never tell. But if Rishi can go first, it's uh could be looking pretty rough. Ragnet comes out, the Bulfy comes in, likely to check the stone trench. Let's see if Cielo covers this. 
its own trench it does go off and it's just savage suplex so they are going to go for the kill secure onto yowler down it goes Ragnet back in for Rishi. If this Ragnet does have Cage, the Cage can uh, activate here and purge off the evasion that Valkyrie has. Let's see if that's the play that Rishi's eyeing up here. Or if they're simply maybe just trying to get ahead of the Volfi's Dust Vortex so that it can connect onto Valkyrie. It is just Sandstorm from Volfi, so Valkyrie will actually manage to dodge that. And if Ragnit comes back in, it will be to Hypnosis the Yowler. Valkyrie opting to rest instead. This is a pretty fast Valkyrie. Its Stoneball was un, uh, outsped in DA by Wastewater from Zalbion, so it may be the case that without priority, Rishi's going to have a tough time uh, getting to this Valkyrie before Stone Trench gives it some evasion. Usher coming in. Volpi does go for the Plague. This is a Strange Vest Valkyrie, so it will resist that pretty well. Stone Trench goes off with Vigorous, but Mushuk's Parrier takes it pretty well, and Exhaustion from the Valkyrie. Big overexertion there. Yowler is awake and active, but this Valkyrie likely feeling pinned here. Uppercut Plague will do the trick. Pretty clinical gameplay here from Rishi as he takes down the Volcrane. Yowler left to play a 3-on-1, and with Parrier on the Mushuk, and no attack bonuses up on the Yowler, it uh, looks like a situation in which Rishi has the opportunity to just whittle down the Bear's defenses. Ragnet makes an appearance again. Uh, Ragnet, oh, and there's the tenderness from the Mushuk. Really making it hard for Yowler to get value. It goes for show off, but that's only bringing it back to neutral. And with the burn available on the Ragnet, as well as the Hypnosis. Yes, Yellow thinks better of it. And Rishi takes game number one, so a huge game one for Rishi. They are going to need to pick up the game two as well. If they have hopes of making it through into this top eight. We'll just uh, take a look here. Get Rishi's score updated. And jump back into the match. So we are going to have to see something a little bit different coming up from Cielo here if they want to avoid another uh, loss. I believe the first band was Volarend in game number one. That allowed Rishi to lead the Nagai, so let's see what Cielo decides. Mimit is banned out by Rishi. Once again, depriving them of the double Nature Koish lead. Cielo again marking this bowler end. I will bat it out. Yowler takes the field first for Rishi in this game. Uh, Rishi was orange in the last one, so blue here. This Yowler is a solid first pick, just not a lot of uh, incredibly high tempo damage from Cielo with Mimit banned out, no double nature coish. Cielo opting to go for Kinu Yalar here. But there is a Nagais available for Rishi. And they will go for it. Going to the second ban phase now. Rishi with that second pick blue Nagais. They do ban out the Zalbion. Cielo opting to take out the Kinu here, so 
they will deprive Rishi of the ability to buff up this Yowler. Nagai's looming pretty large here, though. Nature Koish Chromion coming out. Ragnit, Volfi shoring up Rishi's lineup, and it looks like either Volcrane or Tolkien will be the last, and it will be Volcrane coming out. This yellow needing to pick up this game two here to secure their spot or put themselves in a much better position to secure a spot. This is a very impactful game number two here. So this is the classic second pick blue Nagais into Kinu Yaller. So Rishi actually free to set up a madness buff here should they want. It's actually quite unclear if they're threatened by anything that Rishi has access to. This or Cielo has access to, sorry. This Boish is gonna have to wait until last in the turn to use Water Cutting Lily. Um Water Cannon from Chromion also quite quick, as is the Volcrane Stone Ball, so all of these things under sped and with no way to trigger Naga's reactive vial. Volcrane, not the most value play here either, so Cielo. It's really unclear how Cielo is going to deal with this Nagais. As Rishi will almost certainly always have options between the buffed up Yowler and the Nagais to double into whatever they like on this board. see what the Tamers decide to do. It is Rishi going into their reserve time here. There is a bit of a consideration to just kind of go aggro on Nagais here and really just try and deal damage to the Yala with Beta Burst. But let's see what they go for. Yala retreats. There's going to be Chromion coming in. Romeon Koish, so this does make Nagais' Fury a pretty low value play and is going to guarantee that the Madness buff Naga is going to take some sort of super effective attack here. Uh, harmful Microwaves can underspeed some of the Thames here. But Cielo, that Koish is staring down some very threatening temps here. Both Yowler and Nagais very likely primed to go before it. Let's see what the plan here is from the two tamers. Chromion with the chamomile. So Nagais' Fury almost certainly can pick up the kill on Chromion with help from Yowler, but it won't deal very much damage at all to Koish. Will plus one Savage Suplex get it done? And no, Naga is going to target the Koish out with the plus two Psy Surge. And the Savage Suplex, so the double taking out the Nature Koish. Yellow now has an opportunity to respond. It is going to be Pigment Inverter Water Cannon onto Naga. That does pretty good damage. And because of how the mechanics of Pigment Inverter work, Reactive Vile actually doesn't trigger on Nagais. And now with Yowler in play, fortunately Cielo has lost the ability to resist Nagais' Fury very easily. And Yowler, Yowler plus Nagais' Fury looking to make its presence known here on Cielo's board. Yowler coming in off of death means that unless it has access to clinch, it can't attack this turn. Rishi's Naga living another water cannon here. Romeon retreats. Inu comes in to buff up the Yowler. Denying Rishi good value from Naga's Fury. And Rishi did target that Kinu spot, so it looks like a good read for Cielo. Yowler getting some buffs going here. As Naga does go for Nagais' Fury. This is going to deal some big damage, but actually not very much at all. 
both Kinu and Yala are resisting it quite well. And Yala all of a sudden is online here. Plus two defense, plus two special defense. Plus one attack. It is weak to the mental moves, but... It is the bigger bear compared to Rishi's Yowler, and just one turn left on Naga's Deceit Aura. Let's see. Of course, Rishi does have those three Tims in the back, but... Can Mushuk, Wolfie, Ragnit actually stand up to a fully buffed up Yowler? It's tough to say. Yowler with the swap out here. This is likely to eat a mental attack. In comes Chromion. Inu also retreating. Volcrane is setting up for the turn where Seat Aura is over. Rishi going for the show off, so he will have a plus two attack on the bear. Naga opting instead to rest, so... Rishi's Naga Deceit Aura is now over. So Volcrane and Chromion both look like they will outspeed pretty cleanly, and this Naga now threatened enough it likely has to swap out. Rishi, of course, with the information that this is Pigment Inverter Chromion, he opts to save the Naga for later, perhaps to... Threaten the Yowler with Beta Burst. Stone Trench, dodged by Volfi. Gives Volcarine that plus two defense. Water Cannon dealing neutral damage. And Oshidashi exert overexerting the Yowler, blocked out by Volcarine. So, Stone Trench no longer in play. Inu lurking in the back. Yowler as well as pretty good defensive options against Rishi's Volfi. Volcrane, with the opportunity to get off hook here pretty safely, if they can take a Dust Vortex as well. With Volfi kind of checking the Stone Trench value here. Chromion leaves. This looks like Kinu coming in. Yes, it will be coming in. Protector is going to, again, bulk up that Volcrane. It's yellow, flipping the script a bit for their normally aggressive playstyle to favor value. Going for big bulky Thames this time. Ragnit coming in on Rishi's side. The Kinu Grease being a factor here as it blocks handcuffs. Flaming Meteorite. Does target the Volfi. Doesn't OX the Volcrane, so it's not as strong as it certainly could be. Yellow, now with this Kinu dangerously low on health, does have the option to go for sacrifice if need be Ragnit definitely feeling a little bit pressured by the Volcrane here but Rishi did swap it in so like they do have a plan perhaps expecting the Chromion to come in Inu retreats, and it will be Yowler. So, Cielo accepting that the next time Kinu comes in, we'll be taking some damage. Volcrane going for the Stone Ball. This is going to overexert with Vigorous. Not quite enough to one-hit KO the Ragnet. And Yowler will eat the burn from Taser there. So dealing pretty solid damage. And now with the Volcrane overexerted and Ragnet just strong enough to live, Ragnet can threaten the Yowler with Hypnosis. Solid play here from Rishi. As they're sort of whittling down the hit points on both players' sides here. Plague, an option into Volcrane. Lock it in. Probably a two at KO, though Strange Vest may, maybe not. Kinu coming in onto Yowler. This will be Kinu going down. Now who moves first, the Volfi or the Ragnet? It will be Yowler actually switching out. Chromion coming in. 
Chromion's Chamomile activates. This is going to block the Hypnosis from Ragnit. Does eat the Dust Vortex as well. Great swamp from Cielo. Oh, but Rishi with the Reed, Charged Iron Filings instead blows up the Chromion. So Rishi, covering their swap with an Electric Attack, manages to pick up the KO on Chromion. Now we're forced into a fairly straightforward endgame here. Volcrane and Yowler. The only two Thames left for Cielo. Stone Trench is active and available on the Volcrane. It can only hit the Ragnet, however, but that might be necessary as if Ragnet gets Hypnosis off, Yowler is going to be unable to stop Rishi's team from pummeling Volcrane out of existence. While it does have access to Hibernate and likely Matcha as a result, Yowler is going to be feeling pretty threatened with a plus two special attack Nagais lurking in the shadows, as well as a Parrier Mashuk with access to Tenderness. Rishi. Great job so far this game, maneuvering their Thames around, keeping them alive. Mashuk comes in. Bulfi going to overexert itself with Plague here. So that Vulcan will OX itself if it attacks. Galar opting for Hibernate. This is a slow play, so it looks like Cielo did make the read and opt to rest on their Volcrane. So, Volcrane avoiding the exhaust status. Volfi so low. And it does retreat. What's coming in here? It is going to be the Yowler. Rishi leveraging his hit points here to try and keep going. Stone Trench will be active for Cielo. There's the uppercut. Yaller opting to rest. Volcrane definitely pressured out, or feeling quite pressured by this Mushuk. And the rest removing the frozen status from Yaller. So this Yaller is. Very tanky and ready to go. It does have uh, looks potentially like five Thames that it needs to cover, though. As Volcrane is likely going to go down to uppercut here before it takes a move. With Tenderness active, it's uh, looking like a, a bit of a tough one. Volcrane does go first, however. Vigorous Flaming Meteorite will connect onto Mushuk. Carrier holding out pretty well here. And Volcrane going down quite low. It will be uppercut from a Shook. That's going to finish off Volcrane. Now a 5 on 1. Any Tim can do it, it's Yowler. Savage Suplex, not going to quite cut it. That puts Yellow in a difficult position. Oshidashi basically tickling the Yowler. As Rishi now has to sort of plan for the late game here. They do have tenderness up on Mushuk, but not long. And it's actually going to be perfect jab. So Rishi opting instead to chip away at Yowler's defenses. Savage Suplex going first. So Cielo's Yowler opts for Hibernate instead. That could be a Bit of a tough spot for Cielo's Yowler, though, is Hibernate going up in front of Rishi means that Rishi's going to get three turns on this Mashuk, provided they don't OX. Three turns on this Mashuk to do whatever they want. It could be three Tendernesses, could be some perfect jabs mixed in there. And Ragnit is going to take the field as well for Rishi. Two turns, I suppose, because the uh, rest. Cielo not opting to rest, instead going for some sort of play, so they remain frozen. Perhaps thinking that there is going to be a play to keep the Yowler from being frozen with statuses. 
Bulpy is swapped in. Ragnet opting for hypnosis here. And no rest. Galar no longer frozen. Rishi can hear the Attack on Titan music playing in the background as his five Thames all at 51% or less, squaring off against a plus two defense, plus three special defense Yowler. There's Plague. Done to control Yowler's stamina here. Ragnit goes for the Hypnosis, and Yowler is going to stay out of commission. And we can see sort of the lock developing here as Rishi going for the rest. That means that unfortunately for Cielo, Rishi has the lock in place, so Flag will come in, remove Yowler's alert status. No, it'll actually remove the trap status. And there it is. Yeah, it removes alert and trapped, applying two statuses. Ragnet's hypnosis. Removing Yowler's exhausted. And that's going to be it. Rishi picking up the win in game two. Five to one with a very creative sleep lock play from Ragnet and Volfi. So, GG's. As, uh, yet the anti-sleep tech not present on the Yaller, and it's punished by the Ragnet's Hypnosis. So, that is a very interesting result in our game here. As we can take a look... Uh, if we look at the standings now... We don't have them on screen, but I can read them out to you. Um, that means with, with the victory, Rishi moves up to 11 points with 8 matches played, and Cielo is at 11 points with 7 matches played. Both players have a two-game set left against SM Vid. I believe. Yes, so tomorrow will be Cielo versus SM Vid, where a single win for SM Vid would deal major damage to Cielo's uh, hopes. As well, Rishi will play SM Vid on Saturday. And Ali will play Cielo uh, on Friday as well. So tomorrow, Friday. Uh, group B is going to get very, very interesting as they have three games. Um, Cielo very likely needing to pick up points here uh, against Ali in order to win. They do have the, the bot there with the standings. Thanks very much. But as exciting as all this is and exciting as all that was, it's time for your favorite old man to get ready for work. And time for us to say goodbye for a while. Uh, we've got Trot versus Axolotus coming up in... Looks like about seven hours from now. Trot versus Axolotus um, in the afternoon for or early evening for our North American viewers. And late in the evening for our uh, European viewers. But for now, this is going to be the end of the broadcast for this fine West Coast morning. My name is East, and we will see everyone around. Take care.